So today was a good day. Why? So we got registration. It is now legal and ready to go. I'm gonna stick my uh, registration card in here with my insurance card. Watch, it probably don't fit in this this thing I got. And we're gonna go take a little drive. Drive the car around, because you know what? They can't say shit to me now. Um, before I would kind of hold off, you know, I'd be reserved where I go, but not no more. Now that we are legit. I had a different Connecticut plate on there just to, you know, look, look legit. I'm going to take that off and put on the real one. I did not drive this car under any circumstances without a registration. I used a dealer plate. You ain't got shit on me, copper C. A little warm today. Gonna probably rethink not putting AC in the car today. Cool thing about classic plates is, in Connecticut, they only tax me on a 500 declared value. Very nice. So, I can't rate me. No emissions, no inspections, no nothing. Go put it on the car and we're legal. The only thing that I do have to do is um, put lights over that place so they can't harass me on that. Someone sent me a picture of there's a company that makes bolts that have LED under it that you replace those factory license plate bolts with those factory license plate bolts with and they shine down on the plate. That I'm probably going to get just because it'll make life easier. Water bottle, I got my sunglasses, I got you, I got the registration, I got the plates, I got my Zeus tool in case anything happens. Mm, I should probably check the fuel. This is what makes me want to cut a hole in the deck lid and put one of those things in there because it's actually a quite large pain in the ass to do this. Oh, I also got my back window tinted. That looks a thousand times better, right? Jesus Lord. Ah, it's like three quarter. But I do have a little bit more gas in this can. I mean, I have a gas gauge. I could have checked, but I want to finish out this E85 so I can fill both the jugs up. Now that it's running and all that happiness, I'm probably going to set up my 110 gallon fueling station now i got two 55 gallon drums that are ethanol safe i gotta find a pump probably like a hand pump or whatever
stop sign lady. And that's why I got declared value policy. Idiots like that are gonna blow a fucking stop sign.
nice quick little jaunt in the Gumad. Uh, you know, I, I'm just having fun driving the car, you know. I'm, I'm just having fun being out, enjoying what I just built over three years. I think it's about three years. And getting to learn the car, getting to know the car. I'm getting on it a little bit more and more. It's been a lot of years since I've driven anything fast. So I don't want to end up like one of those idiots on YouTube freaking jumping in the throttle of this thing and winding up in a parked car or, you know, any of those stupid Mustang videos. I'm going to put a lot of miles on this car. Derek already texted me. He wants me to get this thing on the dyno now so he can tune it. And I'm like, eh, yeah, almost. We're almost there. i got to put the ice tank in. I'll be here Tuesday. I got to fix a couple other small, small things. Uh, my 160 thermostat will be here Monday. So I'm going to drill that, put that in. Got to rewire my trans brake and bump box because that crap don't work. I wired that wrong, apparently. What are you going to do? But, like usual, guys, grab a cold one, get in the garage, work on your hot rod, just so you can get out and start enjoying that car. Have a good night, guys.